Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a video about how I apply my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Foundation. So back in about October or November of 2012, I did a how I apply my makeup, my face makeup video using the MAC Match Master Foundation. Um, I had done a video about my low end and my high end foundations and some of you asked, well, how do you apply the makeup forever? So I said, you know what, let me do this video. So the Makeup Forever, I talked more in depth about this in my high budget and low budget or high end and low end foundation video. So instead of going into detail about that right now, I'll link the video. It'll be in the description box. And I would like for you to check out that video so you can see like what I think about this and who it's for. My color is 218. And um, the Duo Matte line is a powder foundation. Okay, so when I do wear my um, Duo Matte foundation, I don't always prime. It really goes based on like what I'm feeling in that given day. I'm gonna prime today with the MAC Prep and Prime um, Natural Visage. And I so I put the primer on the back of this um, jar here. And I use the uh, e.l.f. foundation brush that I got from Target for like 2 to $3. And I just put the primer on. And like I said, I don't always prime when I wear the powder foundation. But it really sometimes, um, the primer does help to keep it to stick. Um, because powders tend to um, slide off, come off really, really easily. Like if you've ever used a powder foundation, they come off, girl. You go give somebody a hug and that foundation is coming off um so that's the one thing that i really don't care about when it comes to powder foundations and i've used not only the makeup forever but i've actually used mac powder foundation as well um so primers help to keep them to stick better but you can't eliminate the come off okay so i apply the primer all over my face and you can see that I have a dewy finish to my face, right? When I am putting on this foundation, I found that using a foundation brush is the worst. This type of foundation brush is meant for liquid foundation, perfect for painting your face. No bueno for putting on a powder. You want to use some type of powder brush. I personally like a kabuki brush. If you have a large kabuki brush, um, you can use that. I don't want I don't recommend using a huge powder brush like this that you would put on your setting powder or something I find that it's just not the best you want to use that for a setting powder but I do have this round top kabuki it's a Sigma F82 round top kabuki brush and you can get the Sigma brushes in a set of four like this um, with your round top, your tapered, your angled, and then your flat top. The round top is the absolute best for applying powder and powder foundation. I rub it around like this, get a good amount of product on there. And then all I do is blend it on. And you can see the finish is so flush. If you have oily skin and you're looking for a good foundation, I definitely recommend you hit up Sephora and see if you can get matched. If they have your color, I would say invest. It's expensive. This foundation is over $40. And I will say that if you use it every single day, which I don't, you'll be done in a month. You probably will be done in a month. Because it really doesn't go a long way. But... If you use it on occasion, like me, it is good for you. And you don't need a lot. I'm putting on like a kind of like a heavy coat today. No idea why. But, oh, it leaves your skin so flush. I love this foundation. And on this side of my face, I have dark marks. So I like to put a little extra, not to conceal them, because I would need to put so much on to conceal them. 
but you can use a concealer if you want. I would say put your powder on after your concealer to help blend. Um, yeah, and then for under the eye, this type of kabuki brush is perfect for getting under the eye because it's so small. But there we go. And look how flush that is. I love it. And if you take it with you on the go, all you got to do is just take your kabuki brush and just apply a little bit more. Or you can blot with like an oil blotter. Because if you have oily skin, your foundation is meant to help um, keep it at bay. But it's not going to prevent you from being oily. That's almost next to impossible, right? <laughs> That is how I apply my Makeup Forever Dual Matte Foundation. If you have any questions about this foundation, please check out my high-end and low-end foundation video. There may be answered there. And then if you have questions, you can leave the questions there. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.